so welcome back to my channel. So, I'm really excited for my July issue video. I mean, I'm excited for the tag. I'm still sick, um, so I'm sorry if you can't hear me or understand me very well. But I think that this month, the tag is really, really cute, and I'm really excited. Okay, so, this is what the tag looks like. And I'll show you up close. It is like blue holographic and this is what that looks like. It's really cute. And the theme of this month is I guess just July twenty eighteen. Usually they have like an interesting theme and a hashtag that you can do on Instagram, like to go with it. But um there, there's no theme. So it's just hashtag Ipsy. Which is kind of weird. Um, I'm not really exactly sure why they did not do like a really themed bag. Um, it's still cute and everything, but I like the theme. And the bag is really cute as well. So the first item in the bag is this Ico London. Let's see what this is. Travel size skinny liquid eyeliner, line and define. And it says, when in doubt, wing it out. Which is a little scary because as you may or may not know, I never wear winged eyeliner. I am horrible at it. It's just really difficult to do to me. Hello? Okay, there we go. So, this is what it looks like. I like the size of it. It's like, not like a really tiny, like, miniature size, but it's not like a full size. It's like a medium size. But, um, if you don't know, Ico, um, is my favorite brand of mascara. So, I've already swatched this, and it looks really, really, really good. Sorry if the camera moves around. My dad came in here, and he, uh, he, he moves stuff sometimes. <laughs> Anyway, this is what it looks like. It's pretty tiny, and I'm not too scared of it, because it's really tiny. I'm going to do a little swatch for you here. Maybe I'll do one right there. It's really, really flat. Can okay, I do another one? It's really, really pigmented. Anyway, let me go ahead. I have a mirror right here. Sorry if it's in the way and annoying you a little bit, but I really need a mirror. So, um, the reason I'm doing this before I do my foundation so that I can clean it up, you know, with a, a makeup wipe. Anyway, um, I don't know exactly where to start. I thought there was a front. Okay. Uh-oh. I already messed up. That looks terrible. I, I just, I'm not good at this. I don't know how people do it. Uh, I just got it on my nose. That's great. Okay. Let me try to do the wing now. I'm really, really scared. I don't really know how to do it. Oh god. <laughs> what do I do? Ugh. I don't know how to position myself to do this. Okay. Try this one more time. Okay, so that's the wing, and I have to connect them. Uh. <laughs> this looks terrible, but it, it could be worse, you know? It's not too bad. Um. I'm gonna do the other side, and I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. So this is what it looks like. It's really thick, but I think it's kind of cute. Thank God, 
trash. I mean, make fun of the trash. I mean, this is my color. Make up for every color that stuff. Crap. Okay, tell me that it's not the cutest thing you've ever seen. It's so tiny. I'm definitely going to be putting it in my purse, probably. So that, you know, just in case there's like a makeup emergency. I think I've used these before. I use the Neutrogena makeup wipes, but I think I've used these before, and they weren't bad. Ah! Uh, okay, so they're like, they're like cotton round things. They're not like wipes. This is so cute. Okay, so this is perfect. I'm gonna fold it up like this, and then use this sharp edge to clean up the eyeliner. Oh. This is so cute. Okay. Um. I don't want to ruin it. Okay. She's cute. Oh. Cute. Okay, other side. Oh. I love it. Okay, so I really like these little cute little round ones. Because... Whenever I do eyeliner, I always have to clean it up. And I always feel bad wasting a whole makeup wipe on only a tiny little bit. See, I don't like wasting a whole makeup wipe for that, you know what I mean? So I'm going to use the eyeliner and the makeup from the little uh, uh, iPad thingy. Um, a thumbs up. I really should have primed my eyelids before all of this. So they're definitely not even eyeliner, they're not identical or anything, but they're really cute and I really like it. Every time I do eyeliner, um, if I don't mess it up, I always love it. But like I said, every time I don't mess it up, so it's pretty rare. I really don't want to cover it up with, with my concealer, so I'm going to try to go around it when I'm priming my eyes. I'm going to be using my... Royal and my Nicole Precision Ampoule brush. Okay, so they're all prime. My third item in the bag is this brush by Elizabeth Mott. It is a tapered blending brush. It looks like this, and it's like a light pastel lavender like it's really light lavender and it feels really soft um this part feels nice and this part it feels kind of cheap and light but it doesn't really matter to me as long as it works i'm gonna use my maybelline limited craze palette i'm gonna take this in here called sunny's and i'm just going to use that to set down my concealer. The bristles are a lot longer than I'm used to for an eyeshadow brush, but it takes up a lot of product. Wow, I love my eyeliner. I mean, it doesn't even look good for most people, but I never wear it, and when I do, I love it. Now I'm gonna take the shade Sweet Tea over here, this brown one in the corner. Um, and I'm going to be using my same brush and I'm going to put it in my crease. Takes it out really well. But it kind of held on to it. You see? It's not on my eyelid very much. It sort of held on to the eyeshadow, which happens sometimes. Okay, so, that's pretty much done. It did the job, you know. Um, I like it. I think it's really cute. I don't know how often I'm going to be using it, but I really like it. My fourth product is this Ella Eden. So, I guess this is an eyeshadow. It could be a highlighter. It could be a blush. But I'm pretty sure it's an eyeshadow. I'm going to attempt to do a swatch 
even though my hands don't really do that very well. Okay, so I'm trying to show you. Mm, can you see it? <laughs> you can see that, right? Really pretty. Yeah, it can definitely be used as a highlight. But I'm going to be using it as an eyeshadow on my lid today. I'm going to be using this eyeshadow dry today. Um, just to see how it looks without anything, without like setting spray on it, you know. So I'm using my flat brush from Claire's. I actually really love this brush. Even though it's from Claire's and it's kind of weird, but I'm just going to pack this on my lid. I should have done my eyeliner last, like that's what most people do, but I, I would have to like take my eyeshadow off if I messed up, so I'm just going to have to try to put it in shadow on top of the eyeliner. Um... So, uh, <laughs> it looks a lot better when it's swatched than it does on my lid right now. You literally cannot see it. Maybe it is meant to be a shot, like a, like a highlight. I think it might be meant to be a highlight, but I, I don't know. This packaging makes it look like an eyeshadow. By the way, the packaging feels really cheap, but that's okay. So that's it for the eyes. The eyeshadow didn't really show up, but I, I don't know if it was an eyeshadow or not. I'm not going to give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down, really, because I'm not exactly sure what it's intended to be. And then the final product in the bag is this Josie Moran Whipped Argan Oil Face Butter. It's supposed to be Oopsie Ultra Hydrating. You're supposed to put it on after you wash your face and in the morning and at night. And I'm going to use it underneath my foundation. So I have a little dollop here. I'm just going to use this Royal and Magnifical Angle Foundation Brush. Looks like this. So, I really like the texture of that, and it also felt really hydrating. So, um, I guess we'll see how it looks underneath my makeup, but it felt really nice. Also, it felt like really expensive. <laughs> I'll be right back with the rest of my face and I'll give you my final thoughts. Okay, so I really, really liked it. It felt hydrating and it felt really nice. It just felt nice on my skin. So I really liked this. So I like everything in my bag a lot. I think it was a really, really good bag. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and definitely subscribe to my channel. I'll have all of these products linked in the description below, and I'll also be posting a picture on Instagram, so that'll be in the description below as well. I have a lot more videos coming for you, so stay tuned for that, and let me know if you like your empty bag down in the comments down below. Thank you for watching! Bye! Oh, that was creepy. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't. <laughs> you kind of put it on. Yeah, this is, I don't even put green eyeliner on ever. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's recording. It's on my mirror. What? You didn't move it. Oh, you moved it. Oh, uh, I moved it. You're supposed to put it on after your face. No, after your face. <laughs>